In 2010, high in the Himalayas, scientists led by Dr. Rasmus Nielsen made an astonishing discovery while studying the DNA of Tibetan villagers. As they analyzed genetic samples in their labs, they found a peculiar gene EPAS1, unlike anything they had seen before. Its origins weren't fully human. Curious and puzzled, they cross-referenced it with ancient genomes recently unearthed in the Denisova cave in Siberia. To their shock, the match was clear. The Tibetans had inherited this gene from the long-extinct Denisovans, a mysterious human ancestor that had vanished tens of thousands of years ago. This tiny fragment of DNA, hidden for millennia, turned out to be the one of the reasons Tibetans could survive the thin, oxygen-poor air at altitudes that would leave most people gasping. The greater Himalayan region, home to the world's highest mountains, has diverse environments. This has driven genetic adaptations in its inhabitants and shaped the cultural and linguistic diversity of South and East Asia. There is debate about whether the Himalayas served as an ancient migration route from the Tibetan plateau to South Asia or remained uninhabited due to their harsh conditions until more recent times. Archaeological evidence shows the Tibetan plateau was settled during the Neolithic era, with even earlier signs of human presence in nearby regions. The Himalayan region is one of the most linguistically complex areas in the world, with six major language families and unique languages like Burushaski and Kusunda. Despite its diversity, the region is underrepresented in genetic studies, which have mostly focused on populations to the north or south or small groups within the region. A previous study using microsatellite markers found greater genetic diversity among Himalayan populations compared to surrounding areas. It also noted differences between Indo-European and Tibeto-Burman speakers, showing that both language and geography influence genetic patterns. High altitude adaptation in groups like Tibetans and Nepal's Sherpa has been linked to a specific gene variant, EPAS1, believed to have been inherited from Denisovans, an extinct human species. This study expands on earlier work with genome-wide SNP analysis of 738 individuals from 49 populations. The study explored the population history and structure of the Himalayan region by analyzing genetic data from local groups and comparing it to 78 global populations. Scientific data showed that Himalayan populations form a genetic gradient between South and East Asians, with Nepalese closer to South Asians and Bhutanese and Tibetans closer to East Asians. Analysis confirmed these patterns, revealing a mix of South Asian and East Asian ancestry in the region, alongside unique ancestral components specific to the Himalayas. Nepalese showed some European and Middle Eastern ancestry, while high-altitude groups like Sherpa clustered genetically with Tibetans and Bhutanese. Certain groups, such as the Toto, stood out as genetic outliers due to isolation and drift. Tibetan populations showed no internal substructure, while other Himalayan populations displayed significant diversity reflecting their geographical and cultural distinctions. A shared genetic component strongly correlated with altitude was observed among high-altitude populations, suggesting adaptation to their environment. The long-term size of a population can be estimated using genetic data, but it has limitations and only gives an indirect measure of genetic diversity and variation. Among the Himalayan populations, the Chetri have the highest genetic diversity, while the Toto have the lowest, likely due to factors like genetic drift or marrying within their community. Tibetan populations all show similar effective population sizes. Estimates of population split times, while limited suggest that Himalayan groups first diverged from Indian populations then from East Asians, and finally from each other. 
High-altitude populations show a shared divergence time from other Himalayan groups around 6,000 to 5,000 years ago, aligning with some genetic and linguistic studies, but differing from others. The study also looked at patterns of inbreeding in Himalayan populations. Nepalese and Bhutanese groups had the longest and most frequent history, showing high inbreeding levels, while Tibetans had the fewest, suggesting much less inbreeding. The Toto group from India stood out with the highest number for inbreeding linked to their isolated lifestyle. Overall, these patterns matched what is seen in other parts of the world, with the Toto resembling some highly inbred groups like those in the Middle East and Americas. As discussed, when comparing genetic relationships, two main branches were found, one for Nepalese and another for Bhutanese and Tibetans. In Nepal and Bhutan, genetic differences often matched language differences. For example, the Dimal from Nepal and the Bodo from India formed a unique group that doesn't fit with older language classifications, but supports a newer theory grouping their languages into a Brahmaputran family. Overall, the study showed that both geography and language shaped the genetic history of Himalayan populations. The study analyzed how Himalayan populations mixed with nearby groups using three different methods. All results showed evidence of gene flow both within the Himalayan region and with neighboring South and East Asian populations. Nepalese, North Indians and Tibetans showed significant genetic mixing with groups from South Asia, East Asia, the Middle East and Europe. Bhutanese populations also had smaller scale mixing with South and East Asians about 800 to 900 years ago. Certain groups like the Chetri, Maji, Niwa, Dimal, Bodo and Lhasa showed gene flow from Europe and the Middle East, possibly due to ancient migration into South Asia. This mixing happened between 200 and 1000 years ago for most but Nua and Lhasa populations showed older events dating back 1,000 to 2,000 years. Populations like the Toto, Monpa and Chepang were more isolated, with little evidence of mixing, except for a minor event 600 to 800 years ago involving Indian and Chinese populations for the Toto. The study looked at how Himalayan populations are genetically connected to ancient and archaic human groups. Himalayan populations were more closely related to Eurasian hunter-gatherers like a 24,000-year-old Siberian MA1 and the Bronze Age Yamnaya than to ancient European farmers or hunter-gatherers similar to other South and East Asians. When comparing to a 45,000-year-old Siberian Ust Ishim, Himalayans clustered with East Asians but were equally distant from this much older genome. Comparing modern Himalayans to ancient individuals from Nepal 3,150 years to 1,250 years ago, the results showed a close genetic connection, suggesting these ancient genomes represent early settlers of the region. Lastly, when analyzing archaic genomes like Denisovans and Neanderthals, Himalayan populations showed similar levels of shared DNA to other South and East Asians. Some Nepalese, Cambodian and Chinese individuals had slightly higher Denisovan DNA, but not significantly more than others in the region. The study also explored how Himalayan populations have adapted genetically to life at high altitudes with various tests. Using four different methods, Researchers found 75 genetic variants that are more common at higher altitudes, 56 that showed unusual patterns even after accounting for relatedness among people, and 117 that stood out as being strongly linked to altitude adaptation. Some of these changes were in genes like DISC-1, which is associated with brain function. One important gene helps their bodies use oxygen more efficiently, another helps them adjust to having less oxygen in the air, and a third helps their cells work better in these tough conditions.
The study also found other genes that might help with things like fighting diseases and keeping the body strong. The study looked at genetic changes in Himalayan people that helped them survive at high altitudes and compared these with ancient populations from the same region. They found that many of these changes, like ones that help the body handle low oxygen levels or work better in the lungs and muscles, were already present thousands of years ago. This suggests that the first people to live in the Himalayas quickly adapted to their challenging environment. One of the enduring puzzles in Himalayan DNA lies in understanding how certain genetic traits, like those enabling high-altitude survival, appeared and spread so rapidly across diverse populations. The EPAS1 gene, inherited from Denisovans, is a prime example. It helps the body use oxygen efficiently in the thin air of the mountains. Yet questions remain about how this gene became so widespread in Tibetan and other high-altitude groups, despite Denisovans being extinct for tens of thousands of years. Did early humans in the Himalayas experience extreme evolutionary pressures that accelerated these changes? Were there other unknown factors, such as unique migration patterns or additional ancient genetic influences, that shaped these adaptations? Despite advancements in genetic research, the exact timeline and mechanisms behind these survival traits continue to elude scientists, adding an air of mystery to the story of human evolution in the Himalayas. Overall, a mix of shared ancestry, isolation, mixing with neighbors, and adaptations to their environment has shaped the unique genetic diversity of the Himalayan region. Future studies can help in understanding these genes in greater detail. Please like and subscribe for more such videos. Thanks for watching.